Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be backyard focused. I'll be working on three different projects, my she shed, the backyard, and the back deck. But before we get into that, I'm excited to say that today's video is sponsored by Sunday. I've talked about them before. They are a lawn care company that we've been using for a couple of years and we could not be happier with how our lawn is looking. It is really neat how it works. You take a soil sample of your lawn, send it in, and Sunday sends you products that are right for your lawn, so you're really not treating it for things that aren't necessary. But more on that later, let's get right into the video. I'm gonna start on the back deck, and as you can see, it definitely needs some help. Um, it's been a number of years that it has gotten a fresh coat of stain. In fact, I think the last time it got stain was when I was still a young girl here at home, like before I was married. It would definitely freshen it up to give it a new coat of stain. And I plan to, of course, you know, remove everything. And my brother-in-law, Mark, kindly let me use his pressure washer. So I'm going to use that this afternoon and see if I can remove the stain on the floor at least. Uh, might even just go for a natural look if it turns out pretty, you know, once I have the stain removed. And then for the railing, not quite sure yet at this point. Maybe I'll end up just going with black, the same as our other decks are. We've had such rainy, cold weather here in Ohio recently. I'd say for the past week it's been that way. And today, finally, the sun is out. I don't think there's a cloud in the sky. It's so beautiful. It's still a little bit chilly, but I can feel it's gonna warm up today. So awesome. The deck back here is still a little bit damp here and there from you know washing it yesterday and from all the rain that we've gotten but I see some areas are dry enough to start staining here I'm applying a Cabot I think it's how it's pronounced stain it is a solid color acrylic stain and the color is black So as I started staining the railing to the left of the steps, I thought how much easier it would be to actually remove the railing sections and spray paint them out on the driveway. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. And of course, some of these screws are years old and rusted out and aren't cooperating for me. So I have to resort to one of my favorite tools, the Hexall. This will cut through anything.
So let's get an update on how the deck is looking. I um, mean, you know, of course, this section here and up here I had stained before deciding to take the rest off and spray painting, which I'm glad I did that. I feel like I saved me a couple of hours of time. The only thing left to do is to stain the posts. Got three posts here to stain. And then the floor, I want to clean it up and probably just give it a clear coat. I'm kind of liking this look. I'm surprised that I got it as light as I did. I mean, it's not perfect. As you can see, there's still some dark stain, especially under the roof here where it was protected. I was harder to get that off, but I'm really, really liking this natural look. I have a piece of foam here for my kneeling pad. I don't always take the time to do this, but I really should. Like every time I do it, I think, why don't I always do it? feels so much better on the knees. I want to apply a clear coat to this deck floor. Did some research online and it sounds like a lot of people like this clear wood protector. It's a Cabot brand um, product. And I did get this at the Walnut Creek Hardware in case you're local here, they carry uh, this brand. And the guy there in the hardware said you can actually roll it on. So I'm gonna try it. Uh, it is a water-based product. I like that idea. And it is rather thin. We'll see how it goes here. One of my favorite challenges is sometimes to just see how little I can spend to make something look pretty. So that was kind of my goal here for the back deck at least. I am planning on just digging out a burning bush and pot that for my one planter for now. I can always add some flowers later. Like I mentioned before, we've had such cool weather here in Ohio. I've really not had the mood to even plant any annuals, but I may end up adding something later. But for now, just this burning bush. So I want some sort of a wall planter uh, to hang on the wall with maybe some vines or ivy or something in it. And I came up with this old window box that I had made years ago. I found it in my storage shed. I'm going to use this and try to combine it with this black wrought iron piece that I had up in my storage. I had picked it up, I think, for free. Somebody had just given it to me. Might be a towel holder or something. And I think putting this together, I have different little parts that I'm using to kind of fasten the iron part to the wood. It just so happened that it fit perfectly into the box, which it's always a good feeling if something like that happens, almost like it's meant to be, right? So we'll see what we can do here. Here I'm adding some lamium to this box, uh, just for my own start. So 
So I ordered this outdoor rug from Amazon and the color is a little bit different for me, but I like it. Um, it's not my usual green or neutral that I go with, but I do like this color of kind of blue green or aqua. I did also buy a pillow cover. Actually, it came in a set of two outdoor pillow covers for a really good price from Amazon. And I'll have that link down below in the description box in case you want to check it out. So I picked this little stand out of the dumpster recently. It is plastic, uh, but I think it'll make a nice little end table of sorts to put beside the rocker. And I'll probably just top it with, I have a sample sign here that I had made. I know it says, welcome to our porch. This isn't really our porch, but I thought it's kind of fitting in a way to just have that for the table tar, the end table top. Here I'm using E6000 glue to fasten this. So before treating our little backyard, let me talk just a bit about the sponsor of today's video, Sunday. What I have here are the treatments for May and June. Everything is always nicely packaged with Sunday products and there's always very easy to understand instructions included and they even have a QR code that you can scan with your phone and go onto their website and see how to actually apply the products that you just got. It's really simple to get started. Just go to getsunday.com slash white cottage company. That's just C-O. Again, getsunday.com slash white cottage co. From there, you can go to custom lawn plan and it'll ask you to enter your address. And it's pretty cool because it actually pulls up your property, like it's able to get your property data, climate history, soil profile. They do ask for an email address to save progress. From there, it'll ask you some questions and then you get to choose your lawn care plan. And here you wanna be on the pay as you grow option and make sure to enter coupon code COTTAGE50 to get 50% off your first lawn care box. Oh, that's always fun to see a price slashed in half like that when checking out. So applying this product to your lawn is really, really simple. Basically, you just have the sprayer attachment that you put into the bag and then attach the hose to that and you're good to go. I gotta say, I rather enjoy doing this. It's just so much fun uh, treating this little lawn back here and I love the results that we're getting. I mean, you could tell, let's take a look at the lawn earlier this year. Of course, this was right after winter, but check it out now. Just so nice, lush and green. And I just love that I can actually pronounce the ingredients that I'm applying here. The one I'm applying today has nitrogen, soy protein, and molasses in it. I love that all my little critters back here are not in any danger because of some lawn care product that I'm applying. So again, to see what Sunday has to offer for your lawn, head on over to GetSunday.com slash WhiteCottageCo. Don't forget to use promo code COTTAGE50 to get 50% off your first lawn care box. Now let's get back to the project. So I want to clean out my shed and fix it up a bit. I have a few new ideas for it. Starting out by just clearing things out. I'm going to wash the curtains and any blankets. I'll fix some soap and water and kind of go over everything, just cleaning things up a bit.
So you guys know how it is sometimes when you start cleaning out spaces, suddenly you think of something that you might have that would fit into the space and look pretty cool. Well, I'm starting to eye this wall here and I'm thinking, could I put that cute little piece of furniture that I picked up in a thrift store and thought I didn't have any space for it? Could I put that against this wall? So I'm gonna go ahead and measure and see if it would fit. So the wall space ended up being about exactly the width of the cabinet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it cleaned up, put it up in there, see how it looks. I love pretty antique pieces like this. Um, I had debated at one point, you know, do I wanna paint it or not? But I'm opting to not paint it. I really like the color it is. If I'd have time, I'd probably maybe give it some bleach or try to strip it down some more, get it a bit lighter. But for now, I think I'll just clean it up and use it the way it is. I can always do that in the future. But I think, again, the color isn't unsightly orange or anything like that. I think it'll look great in the shed the way it is. I feel really thankful to even have gotten a hold of this piece. I was at a thrift store probably about a year ago and was shopping in there saw one of the employees that work, was working in a back room and she insisted I come back there. She has some pieces she wants to show me. I'm welcome to take whatever I want. I mean, I did pay for it, but it hadn't been you know, out on the floor at that point. So I felt really lucky to have picked it up along with a few other really neat pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up here on the sidewalk. And it is a bit heavier than I anticipated. So hopefully one of the guys will come home soon and help me carry it up maybe by the time I'm finished cleaning it. So I'm kind of impressed, guys, how this looks. I can't believe it fits in here perfectly. I mean, it goes about a half inch, maybe to an inch over the window, but I think it'll be fine. I have these shelf holders I wanna use to set my shelves in here. You guys may remember this antique wash tub rack that I had picked up in an antique mall. I um, was going to use it as a luggage rack in one of the cottages, but it ended up being sort of wobbly and I really liked the look of it, so I decided to keep it for myself. Had used it for a plant stand during the winter months in the basement, and now I think it'll look pretty good in front of the windows here. I think the old windows and the floor is my favorite thing in here. The floor is made with plywood and I just cut the grooves in here to make it look planked. And if you wanna know more about this little shed, I had done some videos a few years ago where I showed you the whole process, so make sure to check those out if you're interested. I decided to switch out this chair. This is actually my niece Emily's chair. She had kindly let me use it for the past year or so. And since I moved this little cabinet in here, I feel like it's just a bit more crowded. So I'll go ahead and switch it out with a white chair that I had redone a few years ago. It's just smaller and I think it's gonna look okay in here too. Plus Emily is getting a plant room of her own and I thought, I wonder if she wouldn't want this chair for that room. My shed here is definitely not really roomy, but it is cozy and I love the idea of, you know, sitting back here and being surrounded by things I love. I decided to transplant some of my aloe vera plants. As you can see, I have a whole bucket full here. I always kind of eye them and I think maybe someday I'll make aloe vera soap. That's still what I'm intending to do. So the poor plants don't know what their demise is, but what I'm thinking of doing is just transplanting them into separate pots, putting them into my shed, because I know they like bright light and they're okay with a little you know, hotter temperatures, which it does tend to get pretty hot in my shed during the summertime. I'm gonna see how they do. If I see they aren't really liking their location, I'll always just move them outside or back into the basement. So I'm thinking in addition to my aloe vera plants, I also want some flowers to be in my shed just to create that greenhouse look. I'm not sure is there gonna be room on the antique rack for them or not, but I'll, if not, I'll just put something else out there, a little stand or something to set them on. So I came up with this really primitive crate that I found in my storage. I think I had picked it up in a thrift store once. I'm gonna paint it. 
And then I have some fake lavender that I'm gonna fix in these little pots. I'm planning on Mod Podging old book pages onto the pots. I don't really want this orange color. I thought it would give it kind of a vintage cottage look, hopefully. The handle of the crate is PVC pipe, it's not actual wood. So here I just printed out some wood design. I'm gonna Mod Podge it onto the handle. I need to invest in some new Mod Podge. This is starting to thicken for me. So these book pages were a bit stiffer than just your normal paper or newspaper would be. So I had to work a little harder to kind of get it folder, folded over, you know, all the edges and uh, pressed down. I still, you know, of course got some wrinkles in the pages being that the pots were tapered, but I think it just kind of adds character. Now the fun part in creating these little pots is adding the decor transfers. I talk a lot about these on my channel. I use them in a lot of projects, absolutely love them. Here I'm just using various pieces of different designs that I have on hand, uh, just smaller, maybe butterflies or flowers, something that would fit to these pots. I can't really point you to just a certain transfer that I'm using, but I do get most of my transfers from Patterson Art Studio. I'll have their link down below in the description box in case you wanna check them out, but they have all kinds of different designs. These are so much fun to use, really easy to apply to a surface like this especially. The lavender is from Hobby Lobby and here I'm just trimming the stems down. I'm using air clay for a holding place for the lavender. I'm gonna finish it off with some moss. We have these adorable little votive candles that we are selling on the Etsy shop. Only a limited amount. There are summer line of candles that we're gonna have. Amazing scents. The one I'm setting in here, the green one, is Lily of the Valley, one of my favorites. And we also have a strawberry and cream, which that's the pink one. And then Apricot Grove is the clear one. And then one that I don't have available at the point of filming here is a blueberry cobbler. That comes in kind of a blue-green color, but all amazing scents and so pretty. Just that perfect little candle to add to a little display. And of course, a wonderful scent in your house or space.
I gotta say, I feel truly blessed to have a backyard oasis like this, uh, just a place to maybe hang out sometimes and just relax. And I'm so glad I chose to stain the deck, give it a fresh coat. I think that just really brightened things up. I even like what I can see from inside the house, looking out, not seeing that faded brown railing anymore. Now it looks nice and new and black. It's not new, of course, but definitely looks a lot better. And of course, my shed is one of my favorite places. I love the old windows. And I love the fact that I can sit back here and again, listen to my water and just the birds and I'm um, just a really relaxing place. And of course I could not be happier with the little lawn back here. I like looking out here and seeing the lush green grass. And it's also an awesome place to just sit in. I'm that type, like I'll just sit in grass sometimes cause I like the way it feels. I can't begin to express how it smells in here with this lily of the valley candle burning. Right now I of course I'm into florals with the season we're in, but I gotta say they all smell amazing. Check out the Sunday lawn care products, getsunday.com slash whitecottageco. And again, for a limited time only, they do have 50% off your first lawn care box if you enter Cottage 50. Thanks for hanging out with me back here. I hope your day is going great and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.